In this problem, we're asked to evaluate this integral. And at first, we might be thinking to ourselves, well, we could probably use a u sub or just try to directly integrate this by saying ln uh, 1 minus xy. Um, and then we could divide that by the negative y, which would be the um, derivative of what's inside of here. And then we could go from 0 to 1 for y. And then we would end up with something like ln of uh, 1 minus y divided by, well, let's make that the negative. And then, um, and then if I plug that in there, I think we would get minus ln of 1 minus, uh, well, just 1 in there. And so this uh, would sort of go away and become nothing. We kind of start with this, right? And then we're saying, okay, well, let's go 0 to 1 to dy because uh, we're going to integrate that now. And um, uh, that would be really hard integral. So I, I, don't, I don't know if we can really even do that one. But uh, we're given a little uh, hint in some of these answers. Um, series? Sums? N equals 1 to infinity? What's going on here? Um, well, look, this is kind of like this. Uh, remember that 1 minus x, if we do this, is not equal 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the third. So if I have 1 over 1 minus xy, isn't that just equal 1 plus xy plus x squared y squared plus x, x to the third y to the third and stuff like that? So if that's the case, then um, I could try integrating that now. So I'll integrate that in terms of x first. We got the x on the inside. We're going to deal with the y later. But we're going to go 1 plus xy plus x squared y squared. We'll stop it there. And we're integrating this in terms of the x's. So that'll come out to be x plus x squared y plus x to the third. Um, and let's not forget to divide this by the 2 here. x to the third y squared divided by 3. Um, so yeah, and then we're going to go from 0, 1. So we could evaluate that as being like 1 plus uh, just y over 2 plus y squared uh, over 3 and then plus y to the third over 4. Okay, and so now we have that. Let's go integrate this from 0 to 1 in terms of dy. So that's just going to be y plus y squared over 4 plus y to the third over 9 plus y to the fourth over 16 from 0 to 1. And uh, that'll give us, like, uh, um, 1 plus uh, 1 fourth plus 1 ninth plus 1 sixteenth. <laughs> and that means that we could actually make this look like this, uh, 1 over n squared, and then just go from uh, n equals 1 to infinity, and uh, we'll get this expression. So... That would be the answer. It's crazy.